Hey guys, it is Wednesday and I wanted to come on here and confess how impatient I have been lately with God. I have been incredibly impatient and I was realizing it last night as I was unloading the dishwasher and I was praying and I was thinking about this season of life that I'm in where I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't know like the next step. I don't know. I can't, I haven't figured it out. I'm just trying to walk in what I'm doing every day. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'm so frustrated. <laughs> there is such an impatience in me. Um, because I'm, I've realized I am a person that doesn't like the journey. Well, I say I don't like the journey. I want the destination. Okay. I'm a perfectionist. I'm, I'm a type A, like I want to know what the end goal is here. And then I want to get there. I want to live in that. Um, and so it struck me really hard the other day when I was studying Genesis 12 in the morning. Um, just this random verse, random verse. Okay. And it says, uh, you ha in Genesis 12, you have Abram who he hasn't been named Abraham yet. And God calls him to leave his country, his people, his father's household, and go. Leave this place where you are and go. And I will show you where you're going. That's really what the call is, okay? And so Abram does that, and he packs up all his stuff, and he leaves. And then he, you see him go to this place, and then he travels a little further to this next place, and then he travels a little further to the next place. And in... Verse 9 of chapter 12 of Genesis, and it depends on what translation, but it all means the same, okay? It says, then Abram set out and continued toward the Negev, and the words for that is, then Abram set out in stages. He set out in stages toward the Negev, and that struck me so much because when you look around the world and you think about how God works, he works in stages, like, think about how, like, a plant, okay? Like, you have a seed, you put it in, and it has the stage of this growth, and then of this growth, and then, like, eventually, you get a tree, okay? Eventually, you get a plant. You get a rose bush or whatever. But it's in stages. Or, like, I have a friend right now who is pregnant, you know, and you think about, like, when you're pregnant and you're looking at that, you know, the baby app that's like, this is how big your baby is at five weeks or at 12 weeks or at 24 weeks or whatever. You know, and that's exciting, that's when we're looking at that, we're like, ooh, look, it's in stages. This baby is growing. It's so awesome. But then when we translate that to our lives, our adult lives, where we go, oh, God works in stages. I'm not going to get there yet. I have to live in this moment. And I have to, like, wrestle with this and grow in this way and figure this out. And I don't know all the answers yet. And one day I'll get there. Like, that's in incredibly frustrating to me because I'm a person that likes to know. <sighs> Are you like that? Are you a person that wants to know where you're going and what you're doing? Um, what I found when I look in the stories of people in scripture, like the stories of people here and also the stories of faithful people that I know in life and, you know, in history. <laughs> when you look at these people, you see that life is a journey. And it all happens in stages. And you're not going to get there. You're not going to be at the place that you're going to be like... God made seasons, he made chapters to our lives, he made new days, new pages, and I think what happens for us, like a lot of times when we get stuck in a rut, it's because we're in a chapter of life, or we're in a season of life, we're on a page of our life, and you know, we get tunnel vision, and we're like, this is, this is where I'm at, and this is where I'm always going to be, and I'm just stuck, um, but that's not true. God is moving. He's moving. He's, he turns pages. He, he helps you make it through one chapter to the next chapter. Um, the seasons change. You, you're not stuck in winter forever unless, you know, you live in a very cold place 
and I don't intentionally. So like, that's how God moves. God moves in stages. Like he literally takes us from this place and then to this place and then to this place. And like a lot of us don't like the middle road. Like we don't like the, it feels like purgatory when we're like, I just want to get there. I just want to figure it out. I just want to get where I'm going. And God's like, that's not, that's not the goal. Actually, the goal is to live in this moment and grow in this moment. And then eventually you'll get to the next moment and then you'll get to the next season and then you'll get to the next place. And that's what we see with Abraham. That's what we see with the disciples. That's what we see with the the Hebrew nation as it traveled out of its slavery. Like we see God work in stages. Um, so I want to comfort you. I'm trying to comfort myself in my impatience of like, Lord God, what am I doing in this season? Where is this season taking me? I don't know. The, the promise is that God says, I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to forsake you. I see you. I see where you're at. I see the season you're in and, and I'm, I'm there and I'm working and I'm growing you and I'm doing things in that, but that is not going to last forever. That's just one of the stages. That's just one of the, the seasons of your life. That's just one of the chapters of your story. Um, you have a story like you have a whole story from, from birth to now and years to come of what God is writing, how he is the author of our lives. And, um, don't get, don't get so frustrated. I'm talking to myself now. Don't get so frustrated when you're stuck on a page or you're stuck in a chapter and you don't know what to do with it. You're just not sure where it's going to lead because scripture says he goes before us. He goes before us. He's already there. He sees it. He knows how to get us there. But we, with our very limited vision, we have to just keep walking, just keep walking, keep putting one foot in front of the other, keep being faithful to what you're trying to do. And, um, God says he's leading. He is the shepherd right? Like if we're the sheep and we're following him, he is the shepherd. He's the good shepherd and he knows how to get us where we're going. And he's not going to tell us all the places that we're going to stop on the way. He's not going to give us all the rest stops or all the maps. He's not going to do that. Um, he's only, he's a God that gives us the need to know information. Um, but he is there. So in whatever stage of life you are in, uh, please remember Number one, it's not the end stage, okay? It's you have more stages to go. Um, and number two, you're not alone in this, okay? You're not alone. Um, this life was made to be a journey, <sighs> not a destination. So um, I love you, friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. Just stay hopeful, okay? Bye.